Dan will be here any minute, and he's going to get our final gold total. Woo! All right, just about to clean out the box and having a look before I get started. Little pile up in there. Kind of nice to see that. It's our last cleanup, as you know. Hopefully it's a good one. All right, just pulled out the sluice. Can't believe I couldn't see that one. That's nice. There's another big one at the bottom. That's a beauty piece. And then the pile. A nice piece there, hiding. Nice little one. There's another beauty. Day 28, only a couple days left. Reclamation is in full swing. I'm dismantling the plants, hoses, motors, everything, all the plumbing as we speak. Just this last pile of topsoil and organics, the trees, brush, to push in there and it is done. Is it just me or is that man smiling? <laughs> He's smiling. around by hand like I always do and we are done dude this needs to be more like that there we go we're done we did it I made it oh my gosh I don't need to spend any more money doing this. I had to go buy a hundred bucks extra diesel, one extra grocery shop, bunch of extra propane stops, extra gasoline stops. Hey, threw five grand into my truck for the fun of it while I'm out here. But that pit is reclamated. That is insanity. The squirrels are literally going to move in tonight. 20 days in, Gareth showed up, gave me some help got me through a bunch of the final washing. Dan came up a few times for the gold cleanups. He helped me pack some pay and move some tailings. I worked my butt off to make this happen. Thanks for coming out, Gareth, man. Glad to help. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate having him. Big help.
Killer, take care. See you at home. Ride safe. There's the excavator, sitting back out on the road, getting picked up tomorrow. Okay, I'm all strapped down. Bit of extra stuff in the truck, all strapped down as well, and I am ready to go. Didn't get an insane amount of gold, but nevertheless, it was a complete and utter success. Let's see how Dan's doing. Which one? Oh, that one, yeah, that is, it's almost got that like crystalline structure. Yeah, it's straight from the rock. See that, eh? The final gold total way up. We really want one ounce. Oh, just a wee bit short. Oh well. All that hard work crazy to think that little tiny percentage of flake is in there and what we'll go through to get it and still maintain happiness and sanity <laughs> <laughs> you have sanity left just a little laid out like that you could almost assume that was like four ounces of gold but that's just one ounce glorious looking stuff You could definitely take those big chunks. Dano's cut. My cut. 26.69 grams. 4.6 grams. There's Dan's little jar. the wonder of what you might find and the discoveries and it, it the adventure of being here with your friends it's it's in it's unbelievable it's we're really lucky to be able to do this That is absolutely everything. I'm just gonna shut down the generator for the last time. Thank you so much for following the journey. I appreciate the thumbs up. You all rock. Till next time, take care.
I just had such a great time. I don't really know what to say. I wanted to maybe have some good last final words about the experience. All I can say is I hope to do it again because I don't, I can't really think of the words to explain it. I just want to do it again. I want to get more gold. I want to process more gravel, see bigger cleanouts. I'm only inspired to do more. Um, All right, here goes. Goodbye, trout. So we just got word that there's two major forest fires, kind of one on either side of me. Uh, I really got to get out of the bush. I think they're going to close it down pretty soon. I'm pinched between it and it is so dry. It is insane. All right, I'm getting out of here. Look at what Sibo made. That is a huge pool. He just dug a hole, threw in a tarp, done. I'm a field geology assistant. If you look at a rock, and, and you, online even, you check out their description, they'll tell you it's, it's magnetic or it's not magnetic or it, or it reacts to acid or it doesn't. And right there, you're eliminating a whole bunch of things that it's not. The jar is filling faster than when I used to go panning. <laughs> <laughs> is that our threshold it's now? <laughs> it's the Trout Creek Mine solo camping adventure with visitors. He's always up to something that can't be on camera. <laughs> I got cow shit in my tent. Instead of sluicing, we're splooshing. Oh, dad got it good. You were standing at the right spot. And that was on camera. Well, I guess I was standing in the right spot. So congratulations on passing your inspection. <laughs> I just got to put some water in the fuel pump. Got to put some fuel in the water pump. Oh. <laughs> See that snapshot right then. I swear they're always attended. A bolt. <laughs> oh wow. I don't think I'd want a cougar to attack me. <laughs> Smart enough that he would know it. I'm dirty. <laughs> Might have had to throw a creek. You're traveling a long way. I found a big map. Hooking up cords and... <laughs> This is like that childhood camping trip you always wanted to do. It's snowing, and you won't believe it. Pinch a cobble. I went to go correct it, but it was facing me. The wrong way, so you yeah. tried to... <laughs> Good morning, gold nine. What's one of your favorite things about the bobcat? Um, just get there. All right, get down from there, it's dangerous. Oh, see that snapshot right then. <laughs> nice. That's fun. We're gonna make it. It's the longest trip for groceries I've ever taken. Never done this before. Try it. There it is. Oh, nice, dude.
Awesome, Dan. Great darn day.